Hello and welcome to Life Up. This is another great opportunity to share information with you. So greeting to you wherever you are watching me from. Um, today's video is going to be very simple and short, straight to the point. We're going to look at some of the countries that you can visit with Ghana passport, your Ghanaian passport that you are holding. What are some of the countries that you can visit with, with your Ghana passport? Those are um, some of the, um, that's the video we are coming to look at. But before we jump into the video, um, this is Life App. If this is your first time, um, sorry. If this is your first time, we encourage you to join us, join this family, because what we do is we share information on traveling abroad traveling to Canada, traveling to the United States, specifically for teachers and students, and those who want to work to we share all the opportunities available for you. And then we help you with your application, we guide you, we give you the guideline. So it's a great opportunity for you to be part of this family so that you don't miss any of the information. We will help you with everything that is needed. Just a minute, I need to do some setup here. Then I will just continue with it. But as you know, traveling abroad has become popular of late and a lot of people are advocating, a lot of people are telling you so many things about it. Most of them are true. Most of them are true, but you know that not all of them give you the authentic information. So anytime you are watching such video, just be vigilant and authenticate the information that you receive. Even what I tell you, please make sure that you authenticate it before you move forward with it. Move forward with it. And then one more thing you should know is um, regulation keep changing. Like things keep changing. So if today there's an opportunity here, that opportunity might not be there tomorrow. So anytime you are watching a video on travel, you check the date that video was made and then you follow up with the website that was given or the actual program and know that if it is still available, then you embark on it. Um, I'll go straight away with this and then show you what to do. Um, I think I'm having some technical challenge here. I don't know what is actually happening, but I'm just guessing. Let me see. is okay. Okay, so let, let me just go ahead. So today is like I said, we're going to look at some of the countries that you can visit with your Ghanaian passport. With your Ghanaian passport. This is Life Up 201. So we go straight away. So um, Ghana passport is ranked 76th in 
the world, you know, um, and then this is 2024 ranking by the Henley Passports Index. Henley Passports Index. So they take information from International Air Transport Association, IATA, and then they use it to do this ranking. They use it to do this ranking. And then their ranking is based on the destinations that your passport could go without a visa. Yeah. So the number of destinations your passport holder can access without a proud visa. That is how they rank it. So when they rank it, um, Ghana is 76th on the list, world list, current ranking. And then we have 68 countries that you can visit without a visa, without a visa. Let me explain this. The 68 countries, some of them, you can just visit there without a visa. You can enter the country, but it's not to stay there forever. But you can enter, some will be 90 days, some will be 30 days, some will be 60 days, depending on the country. So each country have a number, but you don't have to apply for any visa. You just pick your passport, buy your flight ticket, you fly to that country. And some of them too, you have to apply for, okay, we are talking of no visa, so I will not even talk of e-visa, but some of them you get visa on arrival. So you get your plane ticket, you take your passport, you get to your destination at an airport, they stamp your passport and give you a visa. Some of them too, there is just entering, just like moving from Accra to Kumasi. But all of them, because you go through, you are crossing border, you still have to go through um, checkpoint, they will check your passport and then stamp it that you've crossed into their country, you've entered their country. Like I said, some will be 90 days, some will be 30 days, some will be 60 days, depending on the country, depending on the country. So 68 countries, I may not be able to go through all the 68 countries, but I will try to mention most of them. Um, if time permits me, I'll, I'll mention all of them. And then I'll put the link in the description where you can get, okay, let me put the link right here, where you can go online yourself and then look at it. You can just Google um, henleyglobal.com passport index or global passport index and then you can get it okay so just put the link in the chat where you can see all the list but the reason for doing this is that one of the positive index if you're applying for a visa to some of this Western world is that you have traveling history. And then in any visa application, they ask you. So if you have your passports, you can travel to some of these free visa countries to have traveling experience. So that is one thing that you need to know. If you have the money to get an air, air ticket in and out, you can travel to some of these countries and then Next time, if you're applying to any other country that need a visa, then you have a traveling experience. That is one. The other thing too is some of these countries are also good economically that you can start your life there or continue your life there just as you want to move to Canada, USA, London, UK, like, some of this country too, you can start something there. You can start something there. And then some of this country to have their passport is ranked higher. So because it's a free visa to you, like I explained earlier on, the free visa doesn't mean you enter there and then you can 
leave the area so you can you have to get a work permit and add a permit before you can establish yourself there but because it's a free visa for you those things wouldn't be difficult like applying it in a country that required a visa that required a visa so let's say for instance if south africa is a free visa now so traveling to south africa you can just travel there as a visitor i think you have 90 days so within the 90 days you can be in south africa look out for a job and then apply for a work permit that would be easier than staying in ghana and then applying for a work in south africa that would be difficult so that is one of the advantage so what i was saying is some of them have advantage of traveling to other countries like canada u.s or uk if you have their passport so you you start from there you live there if you are single you can marry there if you want to so that you get a their passport you become a citizen of that country and then that opens so many ways for you so there are so many advantage of knowing this country and then there are so many advantage of you traveling to this country's face you've tried yours you've tried canada you've tried uk things are not going through please try these three countries too things might, might work for you so let's look at some of these countries straight away um, i can't speak much about them but i'm just mentioning it so you have bahamas bahamas is one it is visa free bangladesh barbados belize belize benin that's in africa um bolivia you get visa on arrival for bolivia um british virgin islands um, burkina faso in africa burundi um Cambodia, um, that is in um, South America, Cape Verde Island, um, Comoro Island, Cook Island, Côte d'Ivoire in Africa, um, Djibouti, even some of the countries have not heard it before. Um, so that is visa on arrival. And then Dominica, Iswantini, Ethiopia is visa on arrival, arrival, Fiji, Gabon. Oh, sorry, Gabon is not part. Gabon is e visa. I'm just reading the list. Grenada, Guinea, Guinea Bissau, Guyana, Haiti, Iran, Jamaica. Jordan is visa on arrival, Kenya, Kiribati, um, Liberia, Macchio, that is South China, visa on arrival, Madagasta, Malawi, Maldives, visa on arrival, Mali, Mauritania, visa on arrival, and then Maurit Mauritius. Micronesia, Micronesia, Montserrat, oh. Mozambique, Nicaragua, visa on arrival, Niger, Nigeria, Mil, not heard this country before, um, Pakistan, yeah, Pakistan, you need ET. ETA, that is um, electronic travel authorization. Pau Islands, visa on arrival. Philippines, Rwanda, Samoa, visa on arrival. Senegal, Seychelles, Sierra Leone, Singapore, Somalia, South Africa. St. Kurt and Nervis, St. Lucia, visa on arrival. 
St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Tanzania, the Gambia, Timor-Leste, Togo, Trinidad and Tobago, Tuvalu, if it's on arrival, Uganda, Vanuatu, Zambia, and then Zimbabwe. So these are the 68 countries. I've just gone through them. Yep. So um, especially, like, I would, this is my personal opinion and then my personal advice. I'm not saying that is the right thing or that is what you're supposed to do. Instead of you to travel to um, some of these countries that you go and do hard labor and all those things, we hear the story. I don't want to mention any country. That's what I'm saying. Some of these countries, we know the story of those countries. You can just travel with your Ghana passport to some of these South America. Um, countries and then um, the islands, Jamaicans and those islands, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados and those islands, because for them, if you are able to establish them and then you manage to get your passport, most of them are able to travel to the United States, come to Canada and then UK with ease Australia, that is very easy. It's very easy. So if you are a skilled worker, you are educated, you, you are trying to move to Canada, you are trying to move to United States, you are finding it difficult to get through UK. And you can start with some of these ones. Since you have your skills, you have your education, you have something it takes to work. Those countries are just like our country, but you know, if you travel somewhere in somebody's land, the plans changes, everything changes. You can do well there. Some, most of these countries do not speak English. English is not their first language. So if you are a bit educated, you go there, you can get a school to work in. They will work for you to get your um, work permit. You can get your permanent resident. If you stay there, depending on what they have, you can get your passport over there. And then it opens that way for you to travel anyway. Or even if you get your permanent residency, it can open ways for you because their passport rank higher if you get their passport. And then their permanent resident, because you, you are residing, you've established there, it will be easy for you to also get a visa to some of the country, your dream countries that you want to travel to. So there are so many advantages of these visa-free countries. Um, utilize them if you have the money to do it. Um, and then our advice, instead of you paying um, hundreds of thousands cities to agents to give you a visitor's visa to Canada, our advice, you can try some of these countries. The work day, if you have what it takes, it will be easy for you to get work day. But just do your research first about the country, look at what is over there, and then try some of those countries. If you establish that, it will be easy for you to move to Canada, easy for you to move to the United States, easy for you to move to UK. That will be very good. So this is just an advice. So I have the link for you to check all those countries. So you can pick your country of your choice, research about the country, look at the job opportunities there, and then try to just visit there and look out for the job, get your work permit, work, get your permanent resident. It will open so many ways for you. If you want, you get your passport, which will open a lot of ways for you, to open a lot of ways for you. So this is what Life App have for you today. So if you have not been part of this Life App family, please do well to subscribe to be part, 
share our videos, go to the website, www.lifeup201.com, and then just look at the video that you want, because in the website, the videos has been categorized into various categories where you can easily navigate than the YouTube where all of them are put together and it's difficult to navigate. So do that. Canada, a lot of information are coming. It's getting tougher for international students, but we pray that things become easy. But yeah, that is all we can do and give you all the necessary information that we need. Teachers who want to teach in the United States, the opportunity is still open. Still open. Just put in your application. Reach out to us. We will guide you. Yeah, I know from now I'll be a late easy. So I um I'm thinking of starting to start applying for those who want to move. Previously I was very busy and then tight, so I didn't want to take that on me, like applying for you. And then, like we've said earlier on, applying for you. It's free of charge. The free of charge doesn't mean you wouldn't pay for your fees that you need to pay. I will not, I'm not paying your fees for you. I'm just helping you if I have the time, helping you do your application. So that is it. See you next time. Subscribe, share for others.